All right, guys, as always, a big thank you for checking out today's video. So earlier this week, the fine folks at Hagstrom and Rosetti, who are Hagstrom's UK distributor, sent over these two guitars for me to check out. So the first one being an Ultramax, that I've got in my hands here, and behind me I've got the Ultra Swede. And my initial plan with these two guitars was to film a video where we kind of compare and contrast the two and look at where um, each excel and which kind of playing scenarios I might choose one and which playing scenarios I might choose the other. And I still plan on doing that video. Um, I've just realized that in order to get the specs and tones in for both instruments and do the comparison, it's gonna be a really long video. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do three parts. So today we're gonna to look at the specs and tones of the Ultramax. Next video will be same thing with the Ultra Swede. And then the third video is gonna be like I mentioned before, where we kind of compare and contrast the two, see where both excel and which kind of musical scenarios I gravitate to one or the other end. So I'll stop talking now and we'll get straight into the tones of the Ultramax. Okay, so for tones today, we're going through Bias Specs 2 and want a fairly clean patch on the neck pickup. Okay, so we've got the option to split the coil on this guitar. That's accessed via the push pull on the tone pot. And um, what I wanted to do to demonstrate this was kind of show a few playing styles where I feel this is a really useful option. Um, so on the bridge pickup, for example, this sounds great for trying to emulate tele kind of tones in a country-ish uh, kind of vibe. So still on a clean patch um, with a little more compression. That kind of thing. Um, Middle pickup would be great for um, adding more articulation to finger pick things. Um, so something like. I realized I said finger pick then and proceeded to play with the pick, but it is the same kind of principle. It adds that kind of top end, a little more definition, a little more definition, sorry, into your chord kind of work. Same thing goes for the neck pickup. Um, so Whereas before we had this kind of... Just to split the coil on that. It also makes you play a different chord at the end. Um, but no, what it's doing there is it's highlighting the, um, the upper frequencies again, so... You certainly get um, a little bit more definition, I think. Particularly if you're playing with your fingers, it brings out a little more of the kind of characteristics um, rather than if you're just playing with a pick. So that, that's a really useful option if any of those kind of styles are something you would gravitate towards. So we're gonna check out some other tones now. Um, what I'm gonna do rather than kind of go through each gain stage and go bridge pickup, middle pickup, neck pickup, um, I'm gonna kind of put a bit of a montage together of a few different uh, tones where I feel this really complements this guitar. So we'll go to the close-up camera for that and then we'll run through the specs. <laughs>
Okay, so specs wise, we've just heard Hagstrom's custom 60 pickups. So these are a slightly hotter voiced version of their custom 58s. So we've got an Alnick 05 magnet with a nylon coated wind. We've got a maple cap on a mahogany body, a mahogany neck also. We've got bridge volume, neck volume, and master tone. So something else I'd like to point out actually on this guitar, which we don't often see on guitars this price point, is the rubberized grips um, on the tone pots and the volume pots. What it means is it's really easy to dial in a sweet spot and not have to worry that your tone pot's going to slip as you take your hand away. This one is to take the car to the garage. Uh, we've got a three-way switching as we saw before. Uh, moving on to the neck now, we've got 25.5 inch radius, uh, sorry 25.5 inch scale length, uh, 15 inch radius. So the 25.5 inch scale length is the same as Fender. What this means is it handles drop tuning a little bit easier. Um, we've got a little bit more tension on the string, so a little bit more play if you want to down tune. We've got the usual uh, resonator fretboard that we see on Hagstrom models with the Perloid block inlays. We've got Hagstrom's in-house tuners, and the neck taper is an ultra slim, um, which I believe was pioneered on their early Viking models, which is what made them so popular. So that was the Ultra Max by Hagstrom. Next time we'll be looking at the Ultra Swede, and then in the final video we'll be comparing the two and looking where each one excels, which musical scenarios I grab one and where I grab the other. Hopefully if you're looking to buy one of these two, it'll make it a little bit easier as well to kind of decide which one might be best suited to how you play guitar. Um, as always, if you did enjoy the video, please do click like, subscribe and share, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much.